Hello there guys, yeah I just uh, want to talk about this vintage realistic Solo One speakers. These are speakers from the 70s and uh, these are rare that you can never find this anymore out there. One amazing piece, you know speakers that are uh, very very nice looking vintage so guys i want to talk about the speakers here because i bought this um from the flea market which a lot of people are buying and selling stuff so i saw this i passed by i saw the speakers here and I was looking at it and then I said this this speakers are perfect for my realistic turntable and it's gonna match my turntable with the speakers so when I bought the speakers guys these are very light color they are really really light brown and I decided to match my turntable up there so I bought a, like a dark brown varnish. So I varnished these speakers here all around. So now it's kind of like matching my turntable up there. Yeah. So quick talk about the speakers here guys, these are vintage and um, like I said, you can never really find these speakers anymore. And these speakers here guys, it's amazing because the sound, the quality of sound is really great. I tested this before and let me show you guys, if you go in the back here, so you can see here it's really like from old old back in the 70s and so you can see down there guys see this is the reason why i bought the speakers here because it says japan so i'm a, I'm a fanatic about you know made in japan so that's why i ended up buying this and J japan is good and um the quality sound of this guy is very crisp and then when you put like a bass um with this guys it's really gonna sound more more amazing yeah so these are solo one guys realistic solo one and my turntable realistic i always use and these are my system down there. So I got this guys for um, 10 bucks. Can you believe that? You could probably buy this from eBay. It's probably more because they know it's vintage and they know that it's collectible. So they will sell it more, you know, but uh, some guys in flea market, you know, they, they don't really care anymore. They just want to get rid of their stuff because, you know, they don't need um, a lot of stuff in their place anymore. And they don't know what to do with it. So, and some of these guys that they, they collect stereos and stuff, you know, they get tired of it one day, you know, they get older and then they get tired of it. And then they sell it in the flea market. I've seen them in flea market, a lot of them, even Moran's amplifier, Sansui. They're selling it there because they need the money. You know, some of these guys, you know, they're probably not working anymore and they're retired and, you know, so they sell whatever they can. So here we are, buyers here. The new generations wants to listen to the old, old stereos and equipments. So now we buy it from them. So it's kind of like a cycle, you know, it's a cycle in every, you know, 50 60 years it's just crazy it sounds funny but it's true so yeah guys so um this uh realistic um 
speakers here. Um, I plug this to my receivers and it really sounds like amazing, you know. Even if we don't need a bass or a subwoofer, this thing will like just give you a decent quality of sound because the design of the speakers, the people from Tokyo, Japan, they designed this really like amazing, you know. It's really amazing um, piece. So I got uh, <clears throat> even down here, guys. I have my bolts, the old version, you know. Yeah. So that I use it sometimes, and it sounds great. So I got a couple more speakers somewhere, and even down here, guys. I have a uh, Marantz. Yeah, that's a big one that's a big speakers right there i use that for my system down there my sansui tuner and my marantz receiver and i got a tuner there jvc made in japan yeah so amazing guys i mean um this speaker's rare i love it and you know it's vintage and i love vintage um stereos and speakers you know so just sharing you know this um vintage realistic solo one and the the wood the it's really crazy because wow it's really amazing like how they build this or if you want you can just like stand this but uh it depends so now i'm gonna look for a stand because i have to put this in the stand and it's gonna look nice like one in the corner and one on the other corner with my vinyl record player so this is this is a good uh, vinyl record player guys you know it's um it's not like a thousand dollars um, vinyl record player but it sounds amazing it's made by wood it's made in japan and that's vintage you can't really find it even if i checked in ebay they don't really sell this anymore it's only a few left so i don't know some people they like to keep their um you know stereos and record players and stuff so lucky me i got this uh stuff here you know so uh, every friday saturday morning and sunday morning i go to flea market and i check there sometimes they sell like rare vintage amplifier receivers you know i just bought two black speakers bose for 15 bucks it's a vintage and you can never find those anymore because the new ones that comes out today they're very different looking it's like a curved looking it's a brand new style it's a it's a, di a different style now a day so i got the vintage ones and i you know kept it i got it for 15 bucks it's a bow speaker speakers guys can you believe that so if you guys want to get some vintage um, equipment stereos and stuff just go to flea market and a big one outdoors and you can see it there so okay guys so these are my um, realistic solo one just a quick talk about this um, vintage speakers here they sound great they sound amazing they look great and they are vintage from the 70s So guys, there they are, so that's it folks, and you guys um, enjoy your vinyl record players, and your vinyl records, and your stereos, and if you guys going to buy a really good um, receivers and amplifiers, just get the Marantz or Sansui, they are really good cost more money but in the end you'll feel you'll feel great so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next video in the next video peace out